It's called the atmosphere, and when the air becomes full of moisture, clouds form in the sky. But it's also happening in Don Johnson's backyard. The, the numbers are so staggering on how much water is in the atmosphere that um, it seems to be uh, a pretty renewable resource. These atmospheric water generators can be purchased from PrepSOS.com. We've got a link down in the video description showing you where to buy these. And these impressive units can generate 15 to even up to 20 or more gallons of water per day as long as you're in the right part of the United States under proper conditions. And stay tuned to learn more. My name is Ryan Dykes and we are here in Dallas, Texas doing an install of our Tsunami 50. I wanted to take a minute before we wrap up the install on this beautiful new patio and explain the internals of our machine, how the machine works, how it is that we're able to capture water out of the air. From the outside looking in, what we're doing is we're pulling air in through our uh, air filters and we're doing that at a high rate of speed and the point of that is to run as much air over our internal coils as we can and so right here you can see on this side and on the back side we have air filters to capture any, capture any dust particles, uh, things that might be floating in the air to do our first level of filtration. So I'm going to open up the internals to show you the inside briefly. What's happening is that air comes through, it's running over our patented coil system. So we've angled our patents in what we call a V-frame. What this allows to do is allow as much air as possible to run over our coils. The water that's in the air, the humidity, is getting attached to those coils because the coil's at a lower temperature than what the outside air um, is providing. And so when that happens, the water hits, it sticks, and then it creates a snowball effect and it starts to run down the coils and drip into our holding tank. Once this holding tank is full, then what happens is a float is tripped and the water starts to circulate through our filtration systems utilizing this pump right here. Water comes out, it goes through our carbon filter uh, to grab any bacteria or, or sediments that might be in the water and then it goes through our UV system which kills any living bacteria to make sure that you're as healthy as possible in the water that you're drinking. And then after that what happens is we have a dispense point right here where we'll take tubing and you can hook it up to pretty much anything. A lot of times we say to hook it up to an external tank for the reason of getting as much water as you can in a given day. Our machines are designed to run for 24 hours so there's going to be a lot of times that you aren't drinking the water that's immediately coming out of the machine so we want to be able to store that in mass so our machine runs uh, all day long 24 hours a day uh, they're super quiet and on this machine also what we've done for an application like this or any application is we've actually had uh, rainwater and catchment installed on the top and so it's a two-in-one system to get as much water as we can given the environment as I said, we try to make our systems as simple as possible, as easy to use as possible for the end user uh, because we want it to work and we want the best water possible. And the last thing I want to talk about is that our product and our machine doesn't produce any byproduct. And why that's so important is, as I mentioned earlier, you have RO systems, you have desal, and all of those take an existing water source, filter it to give the end drinkable water. But the problem with that is that the majority of that water that you're filtering actually becomes waste. And so it can go back into the water table and continually pollute the water table, or it can actually go back into the ocean if you're using desal and uh, affect the, the climate, or it can affect the uh, marine life that's happening. It can disrupt trade or whatever it may be uh, that's happening wherever you're living. And so what we wanted to do is create a machine that creates high quality, in our opinion, the best water on the market, but it has no byproducts and it helps the environment. And so it's the most clean, efficient way to get potable drinking water anywhere in the globe. So appreciate you listening. We're gonna finish up this install and look forward to you using Tsunami products. Thanks. It may not have been feasible in the past. It may not have been economically viable, but um, 
how much is a, is a glass of water worth when you turn on the tap and nothing comes out?